Hey Byron, how are you? Stephen Harrison, comments. Sorry, I've just seen uh, Nigel. I'm good. Sorry, I haven't seen you comments. We've been walking, walking down these roads. Kelly, good morning. What a beautiful day. It's actually good morning, everyone. morning. Michelle's here. It's pretty brisk actually today. So we are back at Lang Lang. And we're taking a little walk, a little live walk today, so I can just take you down the high street. I'm not sure how interesting this will be. You have to let me know. And whether or not there's a, it's a pretty busy high street as well, so it could get a bit noisy. But, um, go on. It's just opening the chippy. <laughs> it's opening, is it? Yeah. So the chippy's just opening. Hi, Dwayne. I'm good. So it's just open. 11 a.m. Is it uh, okay? So that just happens. It's it's 11 a.m. The chippy's opened. Nice little uh, fish and chip shop, and I do like the artwork. So we're going to take a walk. I'm not sure if we're lucky. We're going to be able to uh, pop and get something to eat if uh, Wendy Mays is open. Hi, Lester. Uh, Stephen, is uh, YouTube is is the the only thing i'm doing at the moment uh, it's not the i wouldn't say it's a job it's it's more of a sort of hobby that we enjoy doing and traveling and so we're back at the milk bar uh, i'm not um we've been traveling for four years there's 21 of you in good morning everybody no worries james you're you're welcome we're back at the milk bar now if you watch the other the video the other day you know there's a lovely chinese lady uh who owns or family that owns the milk bar here um and she did tell me the province she was from uh jen xiu jen xiu uh I, i'm not sure anyway good evening cynthia is the sound all right do these big trucks pick up so the op shop's open. It's like the op shop's open. What I'm hoping today is that we can go, hey Byron, what was that you just said? Why is the pizza sign there? I just ate seven slices of Papa Murphy's, you and your Papa Murphy's, Byron. Um, it, it's a chip shop stroke pizza shop. So uh, it's unusual actually to have a pizza and chip shop. So I'm hoping today that uh, auntie's place is open up here and I might try and go in. She, they might not let me in, but uh, it'd be nice to take you guys in. Wednesday in the UK. It is Wednesday here as well, is it? It is Wednesday. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look, the, length, the length of these big sand trucks going through this little town. So we're up to the uh, the car dealership. Um, was it James, James. in here? So this is James's place, and uh, I think the, yeah, the green ute has gone. Yeah. So somebody's picked that up. That's gone off to Western Australia. Hi, Kelly. G'day, Steve. You're only about 40 minutes from me. <laughs> it's beautiful. So you're probably in the city there, uh, Frankie. We we went out to. Um, Phillip Island the other day, that was nice. Uh, just just to do a little bit of filming out there and to test some sound, went down and watched the surfers on the beach. So we're not far, we're probably only about 30 minutes from Phillip Island, maybe maybe a little bit more depending on, on the traffic. Yeah, so we went out to Phillip Island and uh, there's a lot of people surfing, the weather's been really nice. It's a bit brisk today actually, I'm not sure what the temperature is. It's, it looks beautiful and sunny, it's a little cool. It's the cold, still the wind got, is cold. <laughs> still got the t-shirt on though. Still wearing uh, just the uh, shorts and, and sandals. So this is Auntie's place. Um, this is a, a bit of a sort of hardware store, but it's quite a, an impressive shop. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see. Now it looks like a, a regular little store and I haven't had chance to go in there yet, but it's a bit of a, a labyrinth by all accounts. So today, Raven North is in Edmonton for 10 years. Anyway, today, is it open, Michelle? 
I'm going to go in. I'm just going to pop in there. It says, do not, oh, no food or drink in this shop. Thank you very much. And it's locked again. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> just going to pop in and have a little look. This place is gorgeous. So it's, um, g'day, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thanks, I keep missing your shop every time I come down here, oh, it's right. closed. I'm just having a little chat with some friends. Yep, is it all right? right? Yep, you're fine. Yeah, they're all right to have a little look around and yep. just show them. So this is auntie's shop. We, we, we came down on the weekend um, with the family and they all had a little look around, but look at this place, it's fantastic. Um, it is an Aladdin's cave. Just come through here. Look in here, come through a little, another little doorway. It looks from the outside like it might be quite a small store. Let me turn this around so you guys can see just what I'm seeing here. It's fantastic. You've got the old flower tins, got all the old, uh, look, there's a, an old Kit Kat tin, oval tins. Take a look at this place. What a, what a, what a store. Stuff hanging off the ceilings. I'm glad they're open. Anybody want to want to come over to uh, Lang Lang and check out Auntie's place? She's got some fantastic vintage cans and kitchenware. Oh, if it wasn't for the fact we were travelling at the moment, what do you think, Michelle? Is there anything it's, you it's like? It's a good job we're travelling, I think. Yeah. yeah, and it goes and it goes. What do we got here? Look, oh, just a whole selection of salt and pepper shakers. Little silver, little porcelain ones, little, um, oh, these are aluminium, I think, cast aluminium or shaped aluminium. Um, some little straining baskets for, oh, what are these, divisional ones. So staff only back there. I love all these old signs. So if you're interested, now somebody said they were only 40 minutes away. This is a good store just to come down and check out. Just goes and goes. It's got a nice book selection. Is this your place? No, no, another lady that probably was here if you're on the weekend, and that was on. Oh, right, yeah, place, yeah. Mum, mum and, and that came down Dan. with some family and friends. Yeah. We had a look around the city. Unfortunately, I was, I was, I had a couple of dogs, so we oh, had to wait outside. Sorry. Yep, yep. No, no, but I've got, uh, I said that um, we do live YouTube streaming, so we're kind of talking with people all over the world. And, oh, beautiful, and there, yeah. There's a lot of people in the US, but there was somebody who was just nearby. Somebody was saying that they were oh. only about 40 minutes. I'm right. telling them they've got to get down here. Oh, beautiful, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind, do you mind? To, What's your name? Diane. Diane. So this is lovely Diane. G'day, come Cheers. on down. <laughs> You've got an endless job. I was just thinking that Dustin, yeah. after last night, would do yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a couple sure. of weeks, oh, but yeah. Unique. Yeah. Yeah. I need an odd spot. We get them here and there, depending on the we, weather. Yeah. We had a it huge storm. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the, the wind was coming. Uh, biggest storm I've seen in a long time. So the wind was super strong. So of course, these are these older buildings. Look at the roofs here. So it will have kicked up all the dust in the area and I'm sure <laughs> there would have been a layer of dust. Is your shop online? Somebody was asking. Facebook. So on Facebook? On can Facebook, people yeah. order can people order stuff off online and uh, no. She'll she'll um, Facebook pictures are boxed up in the store and you can bring it, but we don't have it on there. Okay, so no, not, not seven, days a week. seven days a week. Now, remember when you remember when you come here to turn the handle the other day when I came, I thought it was shut and I think actually it was probably open, but um, I didn't twist the handle. So I'm just going to turn this around. So they've got a Facebook page, it's Auntie's. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel. Nigel's chucked, chucked uh, some money over and said, buy something to support the shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be small to go in the back. Thank you, Nigel. The problem is, I, I, I'll, I'll see what we can do. But I'm hoping. <laughs> Thank you, mate. What would you, what would you, what would you suggest? 
I'm trying to think. I can't really take stuff with me, Nigel. You put me under pressure now, mate. <laughs> Look at these um, these fox fox cushions. What I might do, Nigel, when I'm not doing a live stream because I'm under sort of the the, the 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 thing, I might come down here and I'll get something and I'll share it across on Facebook and say thank you to you because we can just come in when we've got a little bit of time and pick something that I can actually use on the road. So this place is huge. It's huge, isn't it? it? Just goes on and on. Oh, look at that teddy bear. It's a beautiful teddy, isn't it? Well, it really is. It feels like a, almost like a Stife teddy. What's, yeah, what it says. what's the um, badge on there? The Stife would have it on the ear, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, it says it's a little, little folk bear. So no, I don't think it's a Stife. I think Stife would have it on the, yeah, on the foot as well. Little folk, it says on the label. Made that, in England. That's a beautiful. I mean, it's really heavy. The, the, the fabric is really solid. So loads and loads of stuff, stuff toys. Let me just read the comments quickly here. Nigel, thank you very much, by the way. Thank you. Uh, Bibin, the Stabin, Jan's in. Yeah, the Ringer washers. There's a collection of gollywogs here. If any of you remember the old sort of Noddy series, you used to have the little little gollies till they became um, a little bit politically incorrect. Wow, this place is huge. Tell me if there's something you want to see. Yeah, it used to <laughs> the, the old ringers. Where was the? Where was it? Was there a, a, a washer dryer? In the kitchen. Yeah, in the kitchen. You used to be able to put the. Um, let me turn the, the camera around. So yeah, you used to have the old mangles, and they used to turn, crank them around. And if you had shirts with buttons, they'd just crush them, wouldn't they? You had to be careful with those. Don't put a shirt. Don't put. put a, you know, you remind me of some funny things. So that beautiful. Australia sign up there. Oh, I'm probably going to get sort of copyright hits with the music going on. I forgot about that. <laughs> get into trouble. What a nice store. I mean, this goes back. You can see we came in right up the front there. Now, look at the size of that dream catcher. And it's got like a tree of life on there. It's got the tree of life. It's huge. It is was one hundred and twenty nine dollars. It is now ninety nine. That's uh, Australian dollars, so it's probably about 80, 80 US. So I forgot about the music, Michelle, playing away. Gotta be a little careful. This place is lovely. Some of the stuffed toys. I mean, if you were looking, are they all vintage stuff stuffed toys, or some of them are new? Yeah. This is a lovely teddy here, 2907. I think they're new because they've got, I don't know. How nice My name is that? Is Molly. That's Molly. Hello, Molly. <laughs> Say hello to Molly. But some of these, if you were looking for stuff, stuffed toys, I mean, Christmas time, if you're in Australia, there is loads and loads of stuff here. I like this shop. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. So definitely. We'll come here when we're actually, I, I want to come in and actually have just a, a really slow mosey around here. Loads more teddies over here, look. Look at the counter as well. There's stuff hanging up on all the ceilings. Candles, the, the, these are, oh, these are nice looking candles. They've got a beautiful glass dome over them. That's a complete glass dome. Is there a strip club here? No, there is not. It's too nice a town. I don't want to ruin it with uh, such nonsense. Right, we're going to head back out onto the street. I'm getting hungry. Thank you very much. Oh, 
I don't know how I could uh, I could probably make one of you a moderator, but I think Jed will be fine. I'm sure. So we're going to go up here now. We're going to go past the IGA. I said to you the other day, those of you who didn't see the video, Independent Grocery Association. Um, it's quite a nice store. Do you want to go in the IGA, anybody? Oh, look. Oh, I think one again. <laughs> we giant. Yeah. giant pink um, cement, mixer. cement mixer so anyway uh, we got uh, I've got to go and check out Ben at some point Ben the butcher I don't see him in there today actually young, is there a young lady in there today so we'll be going in and checking out Ben the butcher No, it's just asking. It's it's it's. I know people get people ask some daft, daft things, but it's all good. It's all good. The IGA. Was was Ben in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I've only been here a few days. I'm starting to know everybody. <laughs> what I'm hoping we can do, if any of you saw the uh, stream here, you'll know there's a cafe. A little further up the road and uh, Wendy Mays Cafe and she does all sorts of food vegan food uh, gluten-free um, uh, different lactose intolerance food I don't have any issues with eating almost any sort of food uh, but she's such a sweet lady I think I'm gonna pop in there there's a hardware store just there actually you saying about that jet so actually not on the high street itself. It's a small town really. I mean, this is quite a small town. Do you want to have a look at the prices of houses? So we're actually uh, just next to uh, a property agent here. And I'll turn it round. What do we got, Michelle? What well, have we got that we show? So that's a plot of land. 275. 275,000. Okay. Uh, let's look at a house. I like them out for sale. Uh, <laughs> 500 uh, there's a house there there's a pretty standard looking property for, for what we see around here um, five hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars price reduced <laughs> this one here this is uh, a four bedroom on ten acres eight hundred and oh no four hundred and ninety five thousand where am I seeing no, eight hundred this is ten acres oh I've got hundred. the cameras <laughs> I've got the cameras around wrong so this one is just a regular uh, house 400 and then there's a, a some acreage here which is 830,000 it's quite a lot with acreage 19 acres there will be a lot of acreages acres. out here because it is pretty pretty rural but I'm just saying that it's the laundromats and so if you're watching this back later on so the laundromat is for sale two shops in a house okay so, so how much are they asking 650 to 695,000 that gives you an idea property prices yeah they're pretty expensive in Australia I mean here is a five acre property uh, what are they asking one million for that one it's got some acreage houses look to be averaging okay here's a very simple modern style typical uh, of the newer units that you see is designed around here there are hundreds of these popping up 569,000 <coughs> so you can see it's hard for youngsters to get on the property ladder in Australia when even in these sort of smaller towns prices are starting at half a million dollars I'm sorry if I missed some of the comments some of you uh, if you've ever done this before the comments come up thank you Jan comments come up but they sort of uh, fade to nothing after a very short time I am gonna head into Wendy May's get ourselves a little cup of coffee say good day to to Wendy May say good day to Wendy May I'm gonna take you in there with me she'll, she'll be happy to have you in you can maybe help me choose what are we gonna have she had a nice cheesecake there didn't she, but she might not have it today because she's she not. freshly baked every other day so let's go into Wendy Mays wouldn't it be funny if she was closed 
anyway, we're going over and check her out. You'd love to see the bakery. Well, we'll try it actually afterwards and go in the bakery. There is a bakery just up here, and maybe we can pick something up for later on for our, for our, for our tea this afternoon. Cake's all the way. It's all about eating. It's all about eating. How I keep this super slim figure, I have no idea. Uh, there is no, um, there is no music. Somebody, uh, Raven North's asking about music shops. No. Um, I didn't see a music shop. I can ask Wendy May. Oh, that's the post office. Better be open. It says nine till three. Wait till three. Right. And then we are open. Ready? Yeah, we are. Just checking through the comments before I go through. Here we go. So, push. Yeah, Wendy Mays. Wendy Mays in. Hey, Wendy May. I'm good, how are you? We come to um, hassle you. Come take a look, come take a look. How are you? Do you want to say hello to everybody? Hello, how are you? I'm good. Good. I reckon so. What have you, you been up to today? Oh, we just come out for a little walk. It's cool around those days. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee, bit of cake. Yeah, sure. So what are you going to recommend? What have you got today? What have I got today? I Jan have... says hello, Wendy May. Um, we've done a gluten free jelly slice, and we've got carrot cake, okay. and a peppermint crisp cheesecake. Which one is that? Oh, that's the, the one here in that's, the middle there. Okay, that's great. Peppermint crisp. Yeah. Okay. And some Somebody asked nice about summer cake. salads there as well. Okay. What is this we got here? Vegetarian? Vegetarian focaccias. Okay. Yeah, they're also vegan as well. Beautiful. And then we've got our Caesar salad, uh, a pear and beetroot salad as well. Okay. And then an apple, tomato and avocado salad today also. So what do you fancy? Cake. <laughs> cake. <laughs> <laughs> Of cappuccinos, mm -hmm. um, just in cups. Yes, yes, please. Please. Yeah. Yeah. all right. Thank you. And good day. He delivers our local paper. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's a, a local magazine that, that comes it? out. So you yeah, grab one. Yeah. Free. What, what are they? So, um, oh, Wayne saying good day. Waterline News just tells everything that's happening in the area. Oh, right. cool. We'll take one of those. Yeah, those. definitely. That's great. So yes, yeah, just think, just think in cups with uh, full cream milk. Nice yeah, and strong. Yeah, no, don't need yeah. any special milks, no. I'm afraid. No. Now, I have all of those. I know you do. And Wendy May's got all the specialist milks, all the sort of uh, lactose intolerant milks. And what cake would you like? I really fancy some cheesecake, that snicker cheesecake that you've Snickers got there. Cheesecake? Do you recommend yeah. that one? Yes, it's nice. And should we get um, a sandwich and get it toasted? Yeah, sounds cool. Yeah. Let me just um, turn Kasha? the. Yes, yes. Kasha. Which one would you like? What have you got I've there? I've got a BLT. I've got. Um, Ham. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, well, it was ham good. cheese, tomato, or I've got uh, ham with a relish and some cheese. What do you think? BLT? Yeah, BLT. Yeah. BLT. So we go with the Shop. BLT. Okay. I'm going to yeah. have some of this um, Snickers cheesecake. And what do you fancy, Michelle? You're going to have some of um, Well, we'll go with that first, and then I'll try some of right. and then we'll go for more. They do look good. <laughs> and I'm only doing that because I'm watching my weight. So the chef is in today. This lady we met, um, what's the name of the lady, the chef? Um, we met her just a couple of days ago. And she comes in and helps Wendy May with the cooking. And also Wendy May's um, daughter, I think, helps in the shop as well. So, pretty place, hey? Nice little chairs, nice seats. No, 
I'm going to put up the, the menu here. Oh, well done, Michelle. Yeah, we could get... Um, the music's great, and I always love listening to the music, and I suddenly thought we'd probably get that. Uh, so look, here's the prices. You can always pause the screen. Now, I don't know how I could make somebody a... Uh, all right, because the camera's turned that way, it's just focusing. <laughs> Where do you want to sit? I'm happy to sit just here. Just here. Lots of nice light. Can I sit the other side so you're not... To find a true friend is to find a priceless treasure. Very treat, tweet, very sweet. Now, coffee in Australia, we have really good coffee over here, by the way. Those of you that are not over in Australia, it's always going to be made in a proper uh, barista station. So Wendy, Wendy May's got a, a nice machine there. What coffee have you got, Wendy? Uh, I use Devella coffee. Devella coffee? Yeah. So they're a, a slightly lighter. Is this the beans here? Yes. So they're slightly lighter. That's traditional in, in Australia. We tend to not have the dark, sweaty uh, Italian or not Italian but French roasts. We tend to have the sort of um, blonder roasts, which give you a, uh, a less bitter coffee. Well, I hope so, Dwayne. The BLT looks great. Yeah, it's very clean, very beautiful. And over here, look. Get myself a penny bunch of pennies, sort of custom pennies, $40. Do you think this one would look good on me? I think I could ask about, maybe I'll get Michelle to go and ask about, who, who made the, uh, the Snickers cheesecake? Sorry? Who made the Snicker cheesecake? Um, I did. Did you? Yes, that's not me then, yes. My daughter and I did that one. So, um, somebody's asking whether we could recreate it. Sorry, you carry on, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'll ask Wendy in a moment when she comes over. Let's go and have a sit down. We're the worst customers because we don't just come in, let them get on with it, chit chatting. So, is there anyone that's being naughty that I need to time out? No behaving. Everyone's being pretty good, I think. reading the newspaper, little booklet. Now I know a lot of you come in quite regularly so I should probably make some of you um, moderators so that... Uh... Sean, I know I still call you Raven North though when, when you come in. Never used to be Raven North, you had it in a slightly different... Yes, because I could never say it. Because Michelle couldn't say it originally. <laughs> I'll still call you Raven North, <laughs> but because... So, so many things to remember, Sean, but you, yes, you can always say that to remind me. Thanks, Jan. Oh, we're very happy today. Happy most days. Oh, take the hat off. Pop that over there. Look at that. Look at that. You can tell, that, you can tell the hat stays on nice and firm. Yo, Raggy. So what are you up to? Raggy's doing some cooking, major cooking, and I'm fixing to go to the store. Looking good so far. Keep smiling, Raggy. Uh, last time I was coffee. in Australia, let me just turn this around, we've got oh, some coffees coming. Beautiful, thank you. Beautiful. Here's Michelle's. There's mine. That's the beautiful Wendy. These are my different spoons. Uh, just looking at that. I've been collecting spoons at home for a long time. So on my travels when I was a bit younger. Ah, so Philippines. Philippines, yeah. just in a box. So I thought, well, 
best place to use them is up here. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. And then yeah. you get people talking about them as well. So Where's yeah, this where's this one from? Is that Vanuatu, Vanuatu that one? Is. Vanuatu? Yes. Could so better than sitting at home in the oh, Absolutely. Oh look, 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 look. Let me just uh, see if I can focus on it. Has it got a little... It's What's the song, song tail, the little buses? No, I don't think I can get it to focus. No. Oh, Put my did. hand? Yeah, maybe put your hand behind it. Turn it, tilt, tilt it. Look at the end of that spoon. How cool is that? Now, I've got this one. This is from... Keep your hand there. Oh. This one's from Vanuatu. So that's just your island of palm. Island palm tree. And then this has got Philippines written... And this one's Inside. got the Oops, that way around, maybe. The little so boat. So, you know what happens is you end up collecting all these sort of knickknacks and, and spoons and things. And um, what Wendy's doing is she's bringing them into the, the cafe and using them. It's a good idea. So, let me see if I can stand the uh, tripod mm. over here. How. How are we with the music? Ah. Uh, <laughs> you got to tilt it down a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was going to turn the music down just a tiny bit so we don't get uh, a bit of um, prints going on in the background. So here's my coffee. There's the camera. <laughs> it's got nice. some cocoa on top. And if I come down here. Are you getting thumbs up for the coffees? Oh. Mm. Now we have food. Mm. There for yum, you. Yum. I'll give you another plate. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. See, so you, you did it the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> to me, you can have a plate. Yeah, that's right. It's always ladies first, anyway. <laughs> Look at this, we've got a so a little salad on there. We've got our BLT wrapped yes. up, and is it cut into diagonally? Yes, yes, yes. So Michelle, work out which is the. Um, which is my piece. Which is her piece. A bit crooked, are you? Baby, good night. Take care. It is lovely. Oh, there you I, go. I hope you don't mind. So Michelle's put me uh, my BLT on the. Do you want some salad? Side here, I'll have a little bit of salad. Oh, oh no, you you have the salad. <laughs> That's a shame. Very tricky to read these comments. Is that um, the Yeah, great for lunch. I've got to not put my hand that way. Hey, Ruby. No, it doesn't have whipped cream. Just no, it doesn't have whipped cream, uh, Ruby. It just has. Uh, it's a cappuccino, so it's got a quite a bit of foam on top, milk foam, and then um, some sweet cocoa on the top of that. And then it'd be made with um, full cream milk because that's what we like. Um, Somebody said they love that Wendy put string on the little wrap to tie it up. Yes. I don't know who said that, but I read that. <laughs> they so go here, quick, don't they, the comments? So here is um, my BLT mm. focaccia. Mm. So this will be a, a homemade focaccia bread in a BLT. Just perfect. Mmm. Yum. Oh, nice, nice dressing. Do you want to try? No? I will actually try <laughs> a little bit. I'm just going to get a, a knife and fork. I'm going to have a little bit of salad. With a little micro salad. So that we've just got the sandwich Wendy's put it with a, a little a little salad on here. <laughs> bang. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Sean, kind of. But he has to share it with me, Sean, so not quite a not bang. Oh, yeah. A little mustard. A bit of mustard in that dressing? Yeah. Nice dressing. Nice dressing. It's not too hard to do. It's just a seeded mustard with olive oil and Oh, nice. oh, sorry, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Lemon nice. juice. Yes. Mustard. Uh, seeded mustard. Seeded yeah. mustard. Olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. Just yeah. put it all in the blender and it's really easy. Very nice. Yeah. So yeah. Ho homemade dressings as well. Yes, yeah. Wendy? Definitely. Good on you. <laughs> so a little homemade dressing. Don't you don't need to buy dressings. Um, firstly, they're usually not as nice when you buy them in the supermarkets, mm -hmm. and to be honest, it, they are so simple to make. Now, <laughs> Wendy's just saying there, she's made hers, hers 
Um, go on. What are you Jan say? just off to get a snack. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very mouth-watering, Dwayne. <laughs> Would you ask the lady's name, the, the chef? Yes. I want to say the name of the lady that works here, the chef, as well. Hey, Davey. Dave asked if I'd walk down the railway track. Um, I w Dave, I will take, uh, if the weather's uh, still warm when we get out there, we'll have a little walk. walk. Oh, dear me. Oh, yeah. Have a look. Who spotted those? That's Alison, Mr. Chef. That was Alison, is it? She's shy, she's staying out there. <laughs> Let's just turn the camera around. Look, we've got a load of dream catchers up here. They're not uh, dissimilar to the one we saw in, um, in the store. At Auntie's place. Turn the camera back round. So this is we're not having a, a big meal. This is actually a kind of brunch, breakfast, mm -hmm. lunch, because it's about eleven o'clock and I haven't had any breakfast this morning. Um, that sometimes happens when I'm busy prepping stuff in the morning. The BLT is lovely. Lovely. Are the centres crocheted? The centres are crocheted. Mm -hmm. This one's just black beans. Just one second. Can you see that? This one is, is crochet. Oh, do you like the new t-shirt? Share the love, Steve's Kitchen. I'm not really flogging the t-shirts, but you can get them off um, off the YouTube channel, I think, and off uh, Facebook as well. I think you can order them. And on our website. So if anyone's interested. Michelle, can you read the comments? Mm -hmm. I'm too slow. Um, they go too quick, don't they? Uh, why can't, can we set it so the comments would just stay there? I've no idea. Does anybody know if we can do that? I'd rather the comments stay there the whole time. And they could just roll up, that would make sense. Do you sell the t-shirt? I do. do. We do sell the t-shirts. I designed this t-shirt myself. It's I've got, got one the, too, but the I, share didn't, the love. I didn't put it on. Steve's Kitchen. I'm not sure the price, I, I can't remember. Um, I should know those sort of things. How long are you staying in town? Right, there's got to be a way, <laughs> Ruby, thank you. There's got to be a way of not having to keep reaching over to the screen to get the comments to come up. We need dream catchers in North Wales, UK, says Nigel. <laughs> I'm gonna get and eat this BLT. Very nice. I'll have a little chat with Michelle for a moment. But I'm eating too. Went to the matter. Mm. I'll talk in a moment. Any questions for Michelle? We need to. <laughs> it is a nice cafe, Dwayne. Very nice. I think there were people in earlier on, but they've probably just come for their 11 season and gone now. Um, you could make and sell them what the dream catchers. You could make and sell those, that's what Nigel says. Who said that? Nigel. Oh no, Raven said Nigel could make and sell them. Good idea. <coughs> we need that Snickers cheesecake in New Zealand. Don't you have elevensies, Sean? We always have elevensies. That's sort of, you know, mid-morning snacks. <laughs> Clean plate. Oh look. Is that Japanese ware? Jan says, how do you stay so pretty? <laughs> Don't know how to answer that, Jan. <laughs> what 
when we when we click hi Kelly, I'll come back to me. Michelle's still here. I've got to finish mine. Now. When we click on the um, uh, the names of people, all it says is put you on timeout or ban. <laughs> Sean says he has our Z's, not eleven Z's. <laughs> Sean. I'm going to have a little look when I get back, Ruby. I know people have said reach out, but you know, when you're sat in hey, the reach, reaching out <laughs> and touching the screen and rolling it up and down. Particularly as I'm a particularly slow, slow reader. I'm, I'm kind of possibly one of the slowest readers you'll ever come across, which is remarkable considering how many comments I, I, I reply to and, and read on there. But I'm quite meticulous, so I kind of sort of... Well, you'll see Dwayne books there. Uh, we do see those dream catchers in Canada, and then it's gone. It's gone. Have you we, ever been in Egypt? Wonderful culture and people, says Stephen. Uh, I haven't been to Egypt yet, Stephen. It's one of the places high on the list. So many places to go and visit. My smartphone updates chat automatically was 180 pounds inexpensive. Well, my smartphone <laughs> is the new uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. It was very expensive. I don't think it's anything to do with the phone, no. though, Nigel. I think it's to do with the, uh, the latest version of whatever YouTube are chucking up for this live stream app and I, I, I don't see it's that intrusive to see the your comments on the screen so the, the fact that they keep fading them out see I, I reach over and touch them and I bring my hand away and one and two and they've gone again so so um, Raven, Raven's saying there may, there may be a way to put a limit on how fast we can post comments but it's not how fast you guys post the comments it's just we want them to stay up a little bit longer I would like them to be there now so I can read them and just sort of fold my arms back here and sort of answer your questions because they're not rolling up the screen they're just disappearing they just like uh, Stephen's just typed on there and it pops onto the screen and it's gone <laughs> and I've got to go and touch the screen again Slovenia Slovenia is a hidden gem, amazing mountains and well we've been over to um, Croatia, Croatia. And we've been through uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina on the way down to um, Croatia, uh, Dubrovnik and it, it is beautiful, that part of the world is so good. Yes, it probably is a setting when we go live, when we have to sort Dave, it out. Dave, the video quality is, is really good. We've actually got fairly good connections and I think um, the new note uh, is, is pretty good, Dave. I know you've got, you're still on contract with your phone. Dave was saying to me the other day, he's got to wait until his contract. What's the Game of Thrones reference? Mm -hmm. Try the portrait mode, flip the smartphone. No, I won't do that because um, at the moment, it's part, it, some people are probably watching on, on laptops and computers. <laughs> and if I flip it now, there's a, there's a chance that I may end up upside down or sideways. Mm -hmm. I think it stays the same, doesn't it? Have you got it maximised? Yes, the picture is maximised. Can I get some of that cheesecake, Wendy? Because she's she's yeah, she's just she's you. she's munching away at the <laughs> salad. I'm enjoying it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that was beautiful, by the way. Thank yeah, you very, very nice. much. Uh, someone was saying I didn't know who said it that um, if you don't have it maximised, it'll stay on the side. You can't just touch it. You've got to roll. Oh, okay. It says, have you got the maximised the picture? If you leave it at the regular size, you can see the comments on the right hand side. Um, I don't know. No, the, I don't think on the on the phones that we have that option. No. I'll do a little private one between Michelle and I. We'll have a little. We'll have a little practice later on today. Oh, so Stephen was saying Dubrovnik in Croatia was where the Game of Thrones was filmed. Oh, was it really? I can imagine that. It's got that sort of feel, hasn't it? Uh, the the bay there, the old the old town of Dubrovnik, the center the center town would have that, um... so I didn't know that. Uh, did you know that, Wendy? Did What's you that? Did you know that Game of Thrones was, was filmed in Dubrovnik? No. 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 I don't think I've ever watched Game of Thrones. Oh, no, really I watched a little bit. It's really good. Quite, no, um, no, it's not bad. Tea. Oh, look at this. Hey, boy. Oh, That's that? all right. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Now, so you, Thank are you, you not having one, Michelle? Uh, no, yes, I'm having this one. <laughs> See, I'm having 
and the strawberry. Oh, look. Look at this. How pretty is that? It's cool, isn't it? Very nicely presented. I'm going to mess that up pretty quickly, though. Mess that up pretty quickly. Joe, you may have the strawberry. <laughs> is that what I'm going to get? I Ooh. am going to go in here. So, this is a Snicker cheesecake. Mm, can't do this one handed. <laughs> can't do it one handed, guys. Look, the strawberry. Little rose. Sorry, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> Oh my word, indeed, Kelly. That's restaurant quality. Mm -hmm. mm. Five stars from Jurassic Mark. <laughs> <laughs> take my rucksack off. It's so light, he doesn't know he's got it on. It is that light. It's, a, it's like a mini rucksack. Not as mini as um. There's another one I've recently yes, I got, got for travelling. No, you'll mm. take your rucksack off and relax. Mm -hmm. So we're both tucking into this. We might not talk now because we've got to fight over this cheesecake. <laughs> it's nice, very nice. Oops. Not too no, sweet. Think, it's not super sweet, but nice. I think this is a, a vegan cheesecake as well, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Want to just ask Wendy? Mm. Before I confirm, I said to Michelle to do Wendy and have a bit of extra cheesecake. So I think this is... It's not, it's not vegan, so, sorry about that, it, you can't, you can't, I, I can eat anything, so it doesn't bother me. Just ordinary, for ordinary people. <laughs> Who's the young lady that's the uh, chef in here? Alison. Alison. It is a big slice. That's why we're sharing it. Green. The green. Mm. Mm. That is a um, marshmallow cream. Or Chantilly, uh, Chantilly cream. Yes. Mm. So Dwayne says he's got green tea ice cream. I think it was really good. <laughs> okay, Sean, I'll do that. What's, what's Sean saying? I don't know. You read what Sean's saying. You distracted, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you know what she's doing? She's over there. Just getting my pieces. Whose side are you on, Sean? <laughs> my side. Is there a Porsche out the window? Did we miss it? <laughs> Go on. Now you can... Can I run something by you guys? Yes. yes. You can. It's just something new that we're trying. So we want you to have a look at it and see what you think. Okay, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, happy to do that. Oh. Let's <laughs> put it on our Facebook page today. It's Wendy wants to run something by me. If it's edible, <laughs> she can run anything by me. <laughs> They've just put it on their Facebook page, so we're going to see what it is. So, now, if you mm. haven't seen Wendy May's Facebook page, um, it also has got the uh, the opening hours. And have you got all the opening times on your on your Facebook page? Oh, is it Alison? Let me come over here. Let me take you over. So we just sort of asked you guys what you thought of that. Good yeah. Good ideas, yes. Very popular phobos. Yeah, that's right. Phobos. And it caters yeah. for everybody. Absolutely, because you can have now, what you want. We say fur. 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 We've, just been, we've just been to um, Vietnam. Vietnam. So, oh, okay. So yeah, we, we used to say fur. We always say fur. And they, fur, they all corrected us and said no. Fur. So we've got to say fur. Fur. So that's a fur ball. Yeah, we're so it sounds like a fur. No, no, we're so faux. <laughs> we say faux. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is a chicken faux or fur. Fur. 
And you remember, so you're thinking of doing this as a uh, as a regular? Yeah, on our menu, yeah. Because do. um, I'm doing a new menu after Christmas, and um, this is one of the ones that we can put on it as well. Because then it suits everybody. Well, that's right, they can choose what they want to Well, have. we thought yeah, that they right. could put um, tofu yes. for vegetarians. Yeah. And then we could have chicken or beef, and you could add an egg. Yep. So, so, yeah. Beautiful. This one we did up ourselves to taste it, and it tastes really good. So, yeah. so am I tasting this? If you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold now. Oh, it's cold now. Okay. No, that's just all right. Just heat it up for can you. I, no, I can have a little t try and just <laughs> see. Because you know the, the fur, or fur, is all about that, that sauce, uh, about the, yeah. um, they say about the consomme. Or well, the... We've, we've realised that we need to cut the noodles a little bit because they're still quite long. Right. So... But that's okay. Long's okay if, you, if people are sort of pulling them up. Are you doing yeah. the chopsticks or? Uh... Well, we yeah. didn't really know. Yeah, chopsticks. I would give the chopstick option because yeah. a lot of people, if they're really interested in fur, they're gonna they're gonna. And they like the Chinese spoon as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 You can get takeaway ones. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you could get some pretty little ones as well, like the little China ones. Yeah. Um, which you can get. A shop. Or yeah, get them yeah, on the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. have them. Yeah. yeah. So let me have a little. Shall I hold? You try holding? here. So this is the fur. <laughs> fur. <laughs> you can call it fur. <laughs> you start calling it fur. So there's, what some, you're there's some chicken in here. A little broth. Now the fur is all about the broth. So it's really, it's really about getting the. Um, long noodle, long life. Somebody said. Yeah, long noodle, long life. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I can tell it is cold. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby said Steve suffers for the cause. Yes. Yeah. Nigel says, well then, Alison and Wendy May, passion. We could have tasted it for you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I, it would have to be warm. Have you a little bit of chilli in there? I'd yeah. go a little more. Yeah. yeah. For me. Yep. Um, we, were thought, we were thinking fresh chilli, we used dry chilli flakes, Yes. I, but we were thinking fresh chilli. I'd, I'd go fresh chilli and I'd yeah. go a little more, yep. mm -hmm. um, and maybe even if you can get it, some, some uh, um, lemongrass maybe a yep. little, oh, yeah. or galang, yeah. galang, galangai, or galangal. Um, but no, I think, I think yeah. this would be great. Yeah. 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 And it's so easy to make. So it's Nigel so says maybe cool. some chilli on the side. So that's so, a good idea. So people can add oh, yeah, the chicken and add it as yeah. they want. Yeah. You can get it in the little yeah. 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 yeah, I've got plenty of those out there. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, chili on the nice. side's not yes. a bad idea, yes. Nigel. Yeah. Maybe in um in a little sauce, maybe a little vinegar sauce with the chili and they can oh, yeah. can put it in or, yeah. or you know, if they want to. Nice. I like a little extra. And maybe even a lime wedge or something. Yes, like that. yeah. yeah. That's always be good because nice. they like to squeeze that over the again that's something they do themselves and they like to, it's an interactive, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's all the it's Alison, she's she's, she's, she's she's out back. Well, you both you're both <laughs> experimenting in this or is this well, yeah, yeah. idea? Uh, well it was Ali's idea. Okay. And then um, yeah we so, just sort of put it all together yeah, as well. Check it check it out on on Facebook. So the idea is to, to to serve it complete or serve it in two portions. Don't serve it like that with some with the broth, and then they can mix it themselves. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah and I reckon as you say, the chilies and maybe the lime on the side. God bless you, Alison, Nigel. Extra. Thank they you. They can decide how hot they want it then. Some people yeah, like it really right. hot. And yeah, some, people some people don't, don't like it. Hi, Alison and Wendy May. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's saying hello to you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're back to our cheesecake. <laughs> now, fur I love. I, I mean, I, I got a T-shirt with a, a fur T-shirt from Vietnam, and um, I love it. It's one of my favourite Vietnamese foods. I think that means there's more comments, isn't it? Mm. You got to slide it up or just touch it. So that would be a fur gar, yes. which is um, fur gar, fur gai. I suppose you could say fur gai if it was Chinese, but it isn't. It's Vietnamese. It's fur gar. Yes, they're doing a great job. They are doing a great job. We've always said pho. You know, it's P H O has a little. Uh, 
little marking above the O, if I remember rightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can check that out. But um, uh, the Vietnamese pronounce it the. So Kelly says, you may buy one of your t-shirts, Steve. Well, if you do, send us a picture of you wearing it. Yeah, if anyone does get one of these, maybe they get one for Christmas. There's some great colours. Uh, I, tell me about the prices. Let me know what the prices are like, where you are, whether the postage is reasonable. Give me some feedback. If, if, there's also, I've got a really nice um, hoodie that's got the same design on it, which I'm going to travel with uh, when we start travelling to um, uh, Tasmania. Uh, you in the early part of the year. You might need it there. Yeah, because it's cooler in Tasmania. So I've got like a, a nice fleece hoodie and it's really quite good quality. I was it quite is, pleased yeah, with it. Yeah, the quality is very good. It's super cheap. I think it was about 40 bucks. I can't remember. Yeah. But, um, but um, they're all available. Quality, quality wise, we were quite impressed with. Yeah, the, the quality of these t shirts were really quite nice. The print was quite decent. Um, how they last, you know, hopefully they're, 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 they're a decent t shirt. So this one they call Army Green. I've got like Michelle's an orange. Got like a heather, heather he orange. Heather orange, it's nice. I didn't wear it today, should have done. <laughs> so if anyone does go for a Steve's Kitchen shirt, I'm gonna work on some new designs as well. And if anyone wants to shoot, shoot across any designs to me, you're welcome to. Even the dust cart is, is it a purple. You see, this is why Michelle and I almost always share food when we go out because we we do enjoy a cake. But the, the, the portions are often bigger than I could eat on my own. See, we haven't finished this one yet. The Dragon um, Chef Jacket, Raven, the, the, dragon, dr the Dragon Chef, that's the red one with the dragon on oh, the side. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. I love that one as well. Yes. It's really nice. I actually um, bought that when I was in Sicily um, from a, an Italian um, coat company. And uh, if, if I remember later on today, I'll put a link to it below. So if anyone wants to get across that, we're not affiliated in any way. No. We don't get anything if you, if you order them. But uh, that company was um, particularly good, friendly with us. They, weren't, they, they didn't give us anything or, 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 or anything. Uh, they, we, we just got on really well with they them. They were just nice. So Jan's back with her tuna spinach wrap. Folks in Lang Lang are so nice. Yes, they are. They are. Michelle's scraping up all the chocolate. Yeah, but that's what it's there for, isn't it? Oh, now I'm getting in. <laughs> you don't want my strawberry bit? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Jan says some the wrap. We're getting right down to the end. So I will put a link, not right now, and if anyone can do that in the comments for me, it'd be great, to Wendy May's Cafe in Lang Lang. Um, I I'll put a link, in, can they? Can type a comment below the video, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, we'll put it in later yeah. on. Yeah, the ambience here is really nice. Um, I was tempted also to, to take you into the um, another little cafe down the road we might have to do it another day mm. anyway we've got a, an allegiance to wendy at the moment <laughs> yes it's definitely a very livable place nigel it's a nice small town mm. so if there were any comments people have asked and i missed them you can try and chuck them up now while i'm just going to sit here and finish off this last bit of snicker cheesecake, which is delicious, by the way. How long are we staying here? About 10 days. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was good. So 
Testament. <laughs> Quite tempting. Ruby says, Steve, have you ever used corn syrup powder for candy making? No, I haven't, um, Ruby. Corn syrup powder. No, I, I, I'm not familiar with it. I mean, it'll be, it'll be like um, corn syrup, or well, corn sugar, um, that's just ground down to a powder like, a, like regular, uh, I imagine so anyway. I imagine just that. Ruby, so it's just a crist crystallized, um, sugar, corn, corn syrup, and then done like a like a confection of sugar, I would imagine. But I've never used it. Uh, they do, I think, use sesame oil. Quite often, um, there's a lot of sesame oil used in uh, Southeast Asia in the, in the cooking. Yeah, first one of, my, one, of my, one of my favorites as well. Hello? It must have been you because I haven't got one. <laughs> Someone was saying, have you ever been to Colorado in the USA? <laughs> um, we have been to Colorado. I think so. But um, not, not, not uh, really ready visit. to visit properly. No. Uh, we, Denver's in Colorado, yes. Uh, so we, 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 we spent a short time in Denver and we drove from Denver uh, I am right, aren't I? Denver's in Colorado. Um, and we drove over from Denver to the West Coast. So we went over, there's a pass, quite a famous pass up in the mountains. And I got a photograph of my children oh, when they were yes, a lot younger. Yes, yes. Um, up in the, the mountains in, in Colorado. So it's a very, very pretty part of the world. But I haven't been there for a long time. Does Lang Lang have a famous local digital candy or export? Um, we'd have to ask Wendy. Yes. Do you want to share? Do you want to go and pay mm -hmm. Wendy so mm -hmm. we can we can take a little wander? And then I've given Michelle the wallet. By the way. <laughs> I've got the money. She's got she's got the money. We're one of those sort of old-fashioned couples that where one of us tends to carry the money. It doesn't belong to either one of us, but I tend to carry it, and um, just makes life easier. So we know where it is. Ask Wendy if there's any any special dishes. Wendy, somebody's asking, is there any famous food around this area from that's specific to Lang Lang? Um, not really. No, 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 no I wouldn't have thought so. really got the bakery, which is just down there, and then uh, Howard's has only been there for a couple of years, so they're fairly new. And um, just a few chip shops, so there's not really anything that's no, Lang Lang's not there. No, not really. No, no. No, I mean, you could imagine um, a lot of small towns don't have their very specific, um, they don't have their, uh, not every small town has a specialty food. They've obviously got great eateries here. You've got a lot of choices of places to eat. Yeah, there's an Indian restaurant just a little further down. There's a very nice bakery. Uh, Lang Lang does mean a clump of wood. Somebody asked me the other day, what's a clump? Uh, Lang Lang is a, is a clump of wood. A clump of trees, clump of trees. <laughs> so, and I'm, and I'm not sure what makes up a clump. if there's any one of the local magazine wants to do something with us. So then the, the name Lang Lang is an old Aboriginal word um, and it meant a clump of trees or so you can imagine uh, originally a lot of Aboriginal areas were named after features throughout the land so um, they generally, uh, I got chopped up my teeth, they're generally to do with name places so here Lang Lang means clump of trees. So I'm guessing it would have been um, fairly open and the area as they came down to, from the maybe the hills towards the coast it would be a clump of trees and, and that is Lang Lang. Uh, clump, yeah it, it, it is but if you think of a, a clump meaning a group um, so that's where it comes from. So it probably is. Oh, it's around 
You're welcome, Nigel. I, I, I was told this, by the way, by a bunch of school uh, students that were out here the other day. And um, Lang Lang's not far from the sea. And they were just told me it was a, cl a, a clump of trees. And then there actually is a sign up in the, in the town centre that explains a little bit about the history of Lang Lang. And I think if you look at my last video on Lang Lang, you'll be able to go and pause it and, and have a read. Uh, it's not far from the sea. We're probably about, uh, maybe about 10 minutes from the coast. So Wendy, that if you that that's, they call that in Vietnam pho ga, yeah, and ga is chicken. So, so I reckon that'd be a good hit. If anybody comes down to Wendy's and does, yeah, take that have, with you. I made some. Oh, um, it's um, fudge. fudge. So yeah, it's like a caramel fudge. So you can try that. Thank you. <laughs> caramel fudge, is it? Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. That's all right. You just um. Yeah, but you put, put my plates down. down. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, thank you very thank you. much. <laughs> it's lovely to see you again. All right, we'll see you again yeah, before we're here again. for about 10 days, 10 days or so, so mm -hmm. we can back down again. Okay, great. If anyone comes to Wendy's, share some pictures across on Facebook with me, will you? <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you. you're welcome. Thank right. you. That was lovely, by the way. Yes. Bye, Alison. Thank you. We'll see you again <laughs> shortly. Shortly. Thank you, guys. Say hello Have on Facebook. Day. <laughs> so, I'm going to take you outside now because Dave, you might not be here now. I'll just say goodbye, Wendy. <laughs> so this um, is for, for later. So she's given us some nice fudge for later on, and fudge, one of my favourite sweets. <laughs> Big trucks going by again. So just a walk around today, everybody. Yep. I bet that fudge is good, Dwayne. Maybe <laughs> I should do a little live on Facebook, eating the fudge and the Lamington M&Ms that we got the other day. Now look, we've had really heavy rain. So this railway, which is actually a dead railway, doesn't go across the road. Safe. I'm going to walk down here a little bit. I will send your regards on to Wendy. You can always get across to uh, Facebook. Dave, are you there? Or Shirley? Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> so, the kids were saying to me that this railway track down here I'm not going to walk a long way down, but I'm going to walk down while I read some of your comments and catch up with what you have to say. But this railway, which is now abandoned, has got a bridge at the end. Look at the tyre there. Wow. Tractor tyre. See if we can see any wildlife. So I'm just going to walk you down a little way. The town of Lang Lang is over here. Hey Danny. What is the population? I'll tell you what, Dwayne. If you Google for me, what is the population of Lang Lang? You might be able to answer that for me because I don't know. Lang Lang, Victoria. I don't suppose there's another Lang Lang. No, I don't think there'd be two Lang Langs. <coughs> Because that's all I would be doing. I would be saying to uh, Google, what's the population of Lang Lang? So you can see that the tracks are pretty worn. The sleepers, the sleepers here are virtually um, rotted through. So it's been a long time. Let's turn you back around again. It's been a long time since there's been trains down these tracks. Um, I wouldn't even think... I think it goes to Pakenham, this, tr this track. It would have gone to a town called Pack Pakenham. Okay, so Google said 1,585. Danny, thank you. And you, Raven. <laughs> Kelly asks, 
Mum Janet says, am I from Australia? Look, I am resident. Oh, I live in Australia and I've lived in Australia more years than I've lived probably anywhere else in the world, even the place I'm from, but I'm from England. But I've lived, you know, a lot of people in Australia are from all different parts of the world. So I would class myself as being uh, from England, but I've lived in Australia longer than I have in England. Mind you, with the amount of traveling we do, <laughs> I'm not even sure how accurate that is. It, it would have been ma mainly a farming community and a horse breeding community. There's a lot of horses I've seen uh, still. There's quite a lot of uh, horses in the area. Uh, I've seen a few John Deere's driving around. Uh, actually, just over here now, if you can see, in, uh, in this field. Of course I'm Aussie. <laughs> You know, we've, 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 we've lived in Australia for a long time and um, we've got Aussie passports, Aussie citizens, but originally I was from the UK, but then a lot of people in Australia are from all over the world. Yeah. We've got some phenomenal communities here in Melbourne. I've got some great uh, Middle Eastern communities, I've got some great Greek Italian communities, Chinese, Vietnamese communities. Um, it's a great country. Great country, great weather, great people. Good golly. So the, the lads were saying to us that down here, I'm going to turn the camera around again. Down here, on the bridge. And to be honest, if I can't see it around the corner, Dave, because you're not answering, which means you've probably gone off and done something else, because Dave's a busy boy, out giving guitar lessons to somebody. If you haven't checked out Sawlon's channel, that's S A W L O N Sawlon, that's a good friend, Dave, another YouTuber, and also a fantastic. Um, guitar teacher and also Raggy who was in a little earlier on, Raggy Ragsdale, another fantastic guitar teacher, ukulele teachers, both of them. Oh, the grass is getting a bit long here. I start seeing some snakes. Go on, keep going. You, you frighten away the snakes for me. Oh, I don't mind about snakes. So many... So many things can kill you in Australia. Snakes is the, the least of our worries. Got to be worried. Got to, got to be more concerned about the, uh, the the drop bears than the snakes. Keep an eye out in the trees here. Make sure don't don't get a drop bear. It's sort of like a carnivorous koala bear. Drop down out of the trees. Mouth open. Swallow you in one big. Big bite. It's always snake season, uh, Danny, in Australia, because the weather's uh, you know, fairly warm year round, although in Melbourne it does get a lot cooler. Just coming up to a signal box here. Lost Michelle. It's gone on way ahead. So look, you can see here, uh, that is a, it's probably for holding the cows uh, in the little fence area there when they're, they're, they're treating them or branding them or, or um, rounding them up for marking. <laughs> they are like the Aussie ninja little things and they, they live in these gum trees. Oops, got the camera around the wrong way. Sorry about that. So they live in the gum trees. Usually when it's a little bit thicker than that. How we doing, Michelle? Michelle's out by the... Just keep it... Right. Well, Dave is not in. And it's Dave that asked me to do this. So 
See the pony over there? You see, I could probably zoom in a little bit. So a lot of, um, a lot of horses, whoops. Now the actual sleepers now have just rotted away to nothing. I'm just on um, just on pebbles now. There's a few of them. Just turn and have a look. I'm gonna. <laughs> what have you found? Mona, is it Natari, Natara Mona? Um, I'm going to call you Mona. N Can you see that green snake? Says you've got to come back. She's worried about you. Yeah, that's all right. I'm coming back. Look what I found. Oh, Michelle's gone and found. What is that? Artifact. Artifact. Look at that. that. It's a sleeper pin. It's one of these pins. It's like a big nail, basically. Did you see the green snake? Yeah. Yeah. That. Oh no, I saw the piece of <laughs> hose pipe. You could have pretended it was a green snake. I'm calling you Mona. Mona, she's back with me. <laughs> and she's been she's been she's she's been stealing bits of metal off yeah. of the uh, it was it was the rail track. So look, for Dave. It goes forever. We were going to walk down and find the bridge. I don't know how far down it is. The sun's coming out now, and I really want to get back down the high street. Yeah, the green snake, I'll show you. <laughs> the, browns, the browns are a little bit more um, dangerous, but the green snakes, the problem with these green snakes... This one's basking in the, the sun. ...is basking in the sun like this, and they're camouflage. They quite often just will look like a little bit of hose pipe. See, look, look, I'll, I'll torment it. Don't torment it, Michelle. <laughs> Don't torment it. <sighs> yeah, it does look like a mushroom. See, so we've got mushrooms and green snakes. Jan, we will uh, remember to keep hydrated. I've actually got a, a water pack. Michelle's got a water pack. And we have just come from Wendy Mays. We've just had coffee and Wendy would have given us one thing in in um, in cafes in Australia they always will give you free water there probably was a water somewhere on the uh, there usually is a, a water fountain or a bubbler or sometimes there's a um, a fountain with lemons in it but you can always get free water even if you're not I believe even if you're not a customer they're meant to by law provide you with with water Dwayne says he found a petrified log on his dad's farm. Ah. Had a farm. I love petrified wood. Raven says, "If I don't want the fudge, no, come and get it, mate." What? The if fudge? I don't want the fudge. No, sorry, sorry, that's mine. You'd have to wrestle. <laughs> You'd have to wrestle it out of my arms. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that? Uh, that's for afternoon tea. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we'll have, when we get home, we'll probably get ourselves a nice cup of tea. Michelle doesn't drink tea, but she'll have a coffee. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow, actually. Um, the green snakes are pretty harmless, unless you find um, a, a long one, really long. They can get up to sort of uh, maybe 30, 40 metres long. And they often find them in the back garden, sort of like rolled up. You know, around near the near the, the taps, faucets, as you Americans say. Uh, you've got to be careful, because uh, you might have noticed, they, they look un, uh, uncannily like a piece of hose pipe. So you might just wander out one day, you know, think hose. you're grabbing the hose pipe. And it's not. It's one of those wicked green snakes. <laughs> hey, Leslie. Good day, how are you? There's a fellow walking his... Um, Walking his dogs. Two little white dogs. 
I know, watching out for snakes. He says, watch out for snakes. Thank you. Now he's got his little dogs to protect him. There are snakes, you know, and on a warm day, we should, okay. Mona says, 30 meters, good heavens. <laughs> it quite often rolled up, quite tightly. Hung on the wall. Hung on the wall, <laughs> near the faucet, or taps as we call them. If you make a lot of noise, snakes will run away. The, the green ones won't. No, the green ones won't. That's why that one would let me touch it. So this is the very end of the high street. Um, at the end of Lang Lang, uh, there's a fire station. There's a fire station just here. It's got one of those old water pumps out on the street. Um, that you used to see on railway sidings, you know, it's like a like a big tower. We can go and see it if, we, if we're close enough. It's like a big tower uh, with a big uh, chute, hose chute coming down from it, and uh, that's where the fire trucks. the fire trucks pull up and fill up. But you don't often see them out on the street like that. <laughs> Raven North says. The green snake I'm talking about is a garden hose. No. I've not heard them called that before. No, that must be another name for them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hose Pipius Maximus. Was it? Or Minimus. Yes. If you get a little one. That was just a little one. Yeah. That was a Hose Pipius Minimus. But sometimes at the back of your house you'll see a Hose Pipius Maximus. Nasty things. Look, you do have to take um, snakes seriously. Friends of ours, you might have seen when we were at uh, James Price Point. Um, you've missed a fair bit, Leslie, but don't worry. We're staying on for a little while longer. You missed, missed us missed going into- Missed a lovely cafe stop. <laughs> a lovely cafe stop in Wendy Mays. You missed the very beautiful, um, another one of those pink cement mixers. Oh, yeah. This is the same one going round. This is the same one. You missed um, oh, Auntie's, place. Auntie's Place, which is a fantastic shop. Um, it's the first time I've been in there. My shower's been there before. Uh, but you can go back and watch it later. You can go back and watch it later. Because that shop's great. It looks like a small shop at the front, but it's a cavern of a shop. Full of sort of old knickknacks, teddy bears, kitchen equipment. I got attacked by a drop bear. You put Drew Bear, Danny, <laughs> but I know what you meant. Are oh, you corrected it? Whoops, some dogs over there. So you do have to, I was saying, sorry, I get sidetracked. Um, friends of ours that you saw out at James Price Point after they left us, they'd driven down towards um, Falls Creek. Falls Creek. Uh, Falls Creek. Yeah, can collect lots of things. Oh, leave it alone. Look, artifacts. You, you want to carry that? No, it's heavy. I could have told you that. <laughs> Stay with me, I'll tell you the story. So they're driving down to um, Halls Creek, but they're actually going towards, what's the creek from the movie? A oh, Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek. They're going down that road, weren't they? So they're going towards Wolf Creek, which is the area where that sort of horror movie was set in Australia. Which is all fictional by the way <laughs> i'm just going to let you know about that not like these green snakes um and they met a guy who actually did get bitten by a snake a brown a snake, brown snake. <clears throat> and he had to get air lifted out they put a tourniquet on his leg and he had to get air lifted out um and then our friends anthony and simone they had to try and arrange to get his vehicle many thousands of kilometers out of the outback and they had a lot of trouble because the vehicle wasn't in great condition but they were kind enough to take this vehicle all the way back to the town they found out this uh this gentleman um trying to remember his name Clyde? no same as our uncle uh, the fire chief oh um yeah oh, God, i can't remember his name we're terrible with names yeah, anyway uh, Murray. Murray that's right. So this gentleman Murray was actually okay, but you know, for the sake, if he'd been on his own, 
it might have been a different story. They had a satellite phone they could ring out, didn't they? Yeah, luckily uh, they were travelling with a satellite phone. Our friends were travelling with a satellite phone, so they could make that call. So it, you've got to take them seriously, but um, I'm fairly comfortable um, around snakes and spiders. There's a pink lake. There's several pink lakes, I think, Dwayne, and it's generally minerals that make them that colour. Um, if you see a, a, a large mass of pink in the in the sea, it's going to be probably plankton. Um, if you see it in a lake, it's most likely going to be a mineral uh, content. And I'm not sure which minerals make pink water. Certainly not pink lemonade. We're back on the high street. So I'm going to take you down a little further. I'm going to, what were we thinking of getting from um, Ben the Butcher? I was thinking of, go, I might try, think of something I can get from Ben the Butcher. Um, I think I'll pop in and see if he's there. I don't know if there's anything we need. Dinner? Iodine uh, would make, hey Mr. Old Clunker, how are you? So iodine might well make the water pink but I don't think it's iodine I think it's probably um, an oxide a metal oxide of some sort but, but I'm guessing <laughs> steak or sausage for the barbie I was I had some something in mind I think you were talking about making bacon but we didn't do that again. yes it does, Dwayne, look like the Pepti Bismol, that like a milkshake that's been um, mixed up with Pepti Bismol, which is that. Um... Oh, look at this uh, color on this. Oh yeah. What is, is it? Is that a? Uh... Go to the back. Not even sure. I think it's mainly modified, but I quite like the. Sadly, it's not. Uh, it is peeling off. So, um, the fire station or not? no, I'm not gonna. I can probably just zoom in on it from here, guys, and just let you see. Just let me turn it around. I don't want to walk down there because I'm gonna head down the high street. Mm -hmm. I can get the button to work. So, I press it. So, down there, can you see just, just below? Front, just here, isn't yeah, it? that green just behind that white van that's the water filler for the, um, the Far East. So, it's all good. Good day. Good day, how are you? Good, thanks. So I think that might be that lady's car, because I heard it lock when we got near. <laughs> <laughs> I think she thought, no, oh, those people are gonna break in my car, so she locked it quick. It's kind of funny. It was just a, a film on it, wasn't it? Yeah, that, okay. the, the bonnet was done with a like a vinyl wrap. I don't even know what car that was. No, I was looking to see at the back, but it said left-hand drive, so it's from... Overseas. I'm guessing it's a, a US car. Mm -hmm. Who can tell? Um, car maybe one of you American viewers would recognise it. Um, Chevy, maybe? I don't know. But quite often we get cars over here that are regular sort of stock vehicles from Australia, and they, they put uh, a body kit on it. And... Um, by putting a body kit on it, they can just change it. So we see, we get a lot of Chevys over here that aren't Chevys. What flowers are they? They are probably a weed, they are. but they are pretty. They are pretty, thanks to the yellow ones. It's still closed, Tandoori Nights. Tandoori Nights closed again? Yeah. I haven't yet seen this place open. I wanted to go in and have a chat with the Indian family that I think own this and sort of get an idea of what sort of food uh, they're providing. So, see if Ben's in. Maybe we just get some snags. Yeah. Snags are, are Australian sausages. See if he's there, yeah he is. So, this, Yo, beast, mod, me. I'm gonna pop in and I'm just gonna get some snacks so we've got some in. 
we'll see what uh, what Ben's got. So, if Ben doesn't mind, he's got customers in, so it'll be good. Good day, Ben. How are you, Ben? Now, like I told you before, this is a, a this is a locally owned butchers. Uh, I really would love it if people would support the local stores and, and, and uh, you know, coming up to Christmas. Do you think they were nasturtiums? Nasturtiums? Now, this is interesting because this is a cracked pepper and Worcester sauce or Worcestershire sauce. Now, I know a lot of Australian, uh, sorry, a lot of our American friends have a lot of trouble saying Worcestershire sauce. But, um, coftas, lamb coftas. You want to get some lamb coftas? Okay, okay. So, we'll get some lamb coftas and we'll get some uh, cracked pepper and Worcester sauce. We don't say Worcestershire, okay? To make it easier on you, you Americans, there, we don't say Worcestershire, we say Worcester, uh, it's like Gloucester. We don't tend to say Gloucestershire, we say Gloucester. So, it's a lot easier if you just say Worcester sauce. Uh, but we do say Worcestershire, but we don't have trouble saying it. <laughs> it is a good looking shop, uh, Dwayne. Good day, how are you? Oh, very good. <laughs> now Michelle's getting the door. door. Ben, isn't it? Yeah. How are you, mate? I've got to make sure that uh, I get Ben's name right, because I'm terrible with names. And sometimes I come in and I'll say, I'll go, hey Ben, how are you? And they look at me like, How's that? <laughs> then we're live on YouTube. Is that all right? That's all good. Can we get some snacks? We get some. Um, uh, can I try the Worcester sauce ones you got yes, there? Yeah. Um, like. Give me half a dozen of those. Half a dozen. This is Ben. Are you Are you married, Ben? I'm married. Yeah, he's married. Yep. Girls, sorry. Uh, so Ben is uh, the local butch here in Langley. And Michelle, what did you want? You want some coftas? Can we get a couple of, just a couple of coftas to go with? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we're just out doing a little live streaming, mate. So we've been into yep. Wendy Mays, had a bit of uh, cake and what have you. So if we can get some. Uh... Okay, I'm going to turn around so you, you, you can see. Anybody got any comments <laughs> you want to make to uh, Ben? Hello, Ben. Darn, he's married. <laughs> That's Mona. Well, you like Mona. So how many do you want? Uh, just, just a couple, I think, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just two. Just oh, give, give us, give us, uh, uh, yeah, two. Two. Yeah. Yeah, someone said, good looking shop. It is a good looking shop. And Ben was saying the meat is pretty much mostly it's local meat. So it's right, isn't it, Ben? That's right, yeah. yeah. So yeah. mostly it's, it's local meat. And Ben gets the whole carcasses in here, so he's, he's a proper butcher's. You, you know, we've got to come down and actually get some, some steak topping maybe on the weekend, because uh, I want to try the T-bones and I want to try, um, that was the other steak I saw, I think there were rumps that I saw, so I want to try those. We're probably coming on the weekend. How much is that, mate? We have $14. Here, Thank mate. you. Beautiful. Good to chat. Excellent. Yep, all good to go. So we've got ourselves some a little bit of spare meat. We can just pop it in the freezer if we don't have it tonight. Actually, I will have some tonight. Good six pack, Ben. Thanks very much. Thank you, Ben. No worries. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, mate. So that is Ben the butcher. Great looking meat in there, and actually, um, when I want to make jerky I always tend to buy from the butchers go in and see a guy like Ben if you're gonna make jerky I've got a recipe there on the channel for making jerky I'll get a lot of flack because people think it should be cooked jerky shouldn't be cooked loses all its flavor shall I go and get some milk oh yeah uh, from the IGA because we'll be carrying walking yes I I'll tell you we're going the IGA okay. we go in the IGA would you like a look around the IGA so you get a nice cut of beef here, and um, oh, comments! Sorry, I've, I'm not scrolling. They're not scrolling now. 
Hey Tammy, how are you? Yo Yo Max is in Tammy. Uh, Worcester is a place in England where the sauce is made. Famous musicians. Wow, I missed all these comments. Um, I'll <laughs> I'll read them a little bit later on. I'm sorry they stopped scrolling when I was in with Ben because uh, we're going to go into the IGA. So some of you had a little look round Woolworths. I'm not going to bother pressing the, the crossing here because the traffic in these small towns is so light. It's hardly worth stopping the traffic. I don't advise that for youngsters, by the way. Just to be, just to be fair. So yo yo, what was Ra uh, Raven saying? Something you, you made that he loved. Everything yo yo makes is beautiful. Everything she makes, she's a diet free zone after all. Oh yo yo, yeah, um, Tammy, you missed a lovely uh, Snicker cheesecake we just had. In um, oh, you made cheese whiz. Yum yum. So you missed the the chickas, uh, the chickas, the Snickers cheesecake that. Um, that we just had in Wendy Mays. So this is the IGA. So this is like a smaller independent supermarket, but it's still quite a decent size. You've got the usual sort of laid, you know, here we've got the, the pet food. It was lovely. It was a big, big slice as well. They've got a dairy section. This is all the pet foods. Mortine is our, do you have Mortine in the US? Most of the things we have here you have. I don't think, um, you're fascinated by foreign cereal. Your wish is my command, Tammy. I'll take you to the cereal aisle. You can have a little look and see what sort of cereals we have here in Australia. And tell me which ones, where is it, Michelle? Tell me which ones you recognize. Woohoo! Baked soups. <laughs> Baked soups. Have I missed it? This one at the end. This one? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the cereals. And you can tell me. Well everyone's got Uncle Be Uncle Toby's. Do you? We have wheat bix. In the UK, you have a Weetabix. This is Vitabix. This is a different brand. Um, this is the the brand that um, is specific to the IGA. So it's the golden uh, black and gold. So it's usually a little less expensive. Nesquik, I think, is an American brand. Cornflakes, um, Sultana brand, Fruity Bites. You have wheat bakes, do you, Tammy? Fruity Bites. Um, cornflakes. Guardian. That's something I've not seen I before. Know. It's a variation of a, a cornflake. We've got Crunchy Nut. Oh, with psyllium. Stimulate the breakdown of cholesterol. Ah, oh, psyllium husk. Oh. So that's a, uh, that's a dietary fiber that you can actually add into almost anything. But, um, we call them rice baubles. I think in the UK they're called uh, rice krispies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm showing the the, the the other side of the world what our cereals are like. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little different, aren't they, than yes. what we get elsewhere? Cocoa pops. And they call them different names. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. It's like I used to love eating. Cocoa. Absolutely. Oh yeah, this, this stuff, this stuff is uh, not good for your health. Fruit Loops. Now this is Nutigrain. I think this is an Australian only. This is one of my favourite cereals. Um, this is like um, sugar puffs. Uh, it's not like sugar puffs. It's it's slightly sweet. Briquette of bran, but sweet, sort of honey flavoured. Not really honey even though, it's hard to explain. Corn, oats and wheat. Corn, oats and wheat. Do you have Nutigrain where you are? So, rice baubles, crunchy nut, sustain, fruity bites, co cocoa bombs. Milo. Milo.
I think that's a that's a uh, like a, a chocolate. It's one of those uh, breakfast cereals that that make all that makes all your your milk go like a Milo drink. Cookies and cream. Oh, this is a new one. Probably you might have this in uh, Cocoa Pops. Is the camera flipped the wrong way around? I think it is. Cocoa Pops cookies and cream with checks. Or they are checks, should I say. Do you want to grab the milk, Michelle? So Michelle's just going to get some milk for us. I'll show you the uh, the crackers. So we've got saladas, which are like a saltine cracker. Um, we've got these, which I quite like, Vita Wheat. Uh, these are like a, a cracker. They're pretty hard actually sometimes. So they uh, not those ones, but there's another packet somewhere. You can see it. Um, Captain's uh, table, they're pretty common. Arnott's is an Australian brand of crackers. Jazz, which come in cheese and salt. Uh, these ones, these Vida Wheat here. We do have... So you've got Mulu Mountain Milk. Oh, Mulu, Mulu Mountain Milk we're getting today, 1st of December. But this stuff never goes off. Milk never goes off <laughs> nowadays. Um, we do have Ritz. And I don't think they're, any, they're, they're an imported brand. And of course, endless uh, different varieties of... Um, Tim Tams. I thought this was a new flavour. It's not, it's just a Christmas Tim Tam. Oh, Tim Tams, there's a white chocolate Tim Tam. Uh, there's only a handful, double chocolate. This one's a chewy caramel. Chewy caramel. I haven't got many here. Now, I'm going to pop outside because the music's a little loud. I might get a copyright strike, so I'll probably get a copyright strike anyway. I Michelle's going to grab the milk. We have the Chuck Chups. That's an American lolly. So yes, now the lads that I met who told me a little bit about um, I'll take you in the bottle shop. You want to see the price of alcohol here? Yeah? Um, I think you might find it quite expensive. Let's, let's see, where is the regular? That's just wines. So a bottle of, small bottle of red label, Johnny Walker red label. Uh, $25.99. A full size bottle is currently on special at $55. A bottle, Jack Daniels, is $48. That's on special. So that's normally $53. And that is a. Um, uh, what size bottle is that? Probably written on there somewhere. Uh, 700ml. Wild Turkey, $60 for about a litre bottle. Uh, your vodkas are probably, well, your gin's there. Absolute is on special at 40. Uh, Smirnoff is 40. And these are all Australian dollars. But it used to be the Aussie dollar was closely pegged to the US dollar at one time. It is not now. You can divide it by about 0.7. So there you have it. Alcohol. Cigarettes here in Australia are $33 a packet. So, ladies, ladies uh, having a chat with Michelle. So, a packet of cigarettes in Australia around about $30 to $35 a packet. It's just for a packet of 20. Can you believe that? People still smoke. Tammy, I, I don't know how much cigarettes would be. I mean, that's uh, um, 96 cents, so very close. So you're saying the prices are about the same as in Canada? The booze prices. Cigarettes, about 30 bucks a packet. Hello. You said you were enjoying yourself, so that was the I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the pack, cost of a packet of cigarettes now. They're about 30, 30. It depends on what you get. Yeah. Um, 25, 25 to 30. dollars for um, JPS of Pink's okay. 20. Yes, it's expensive now. Very expensive. Yeah, hey, Boda. No, see, Tammy, I, I only know because I take an interest, but I don't smoke, so. 
haven't done, I haven't needed to uh, to buy cigarettes. But I'm always um, surprised at what the youngsters will spend. I mean, you sometimes see people go in. Now, this isn't for a carton, Leslie. This is just for a packet, one packet, a small square packet. It, 25 the ladies there for JPS and they go up to about $30 now I think I saw a lad buying one the other day it were 30 he just bought a single packet of 20 cigarettes and it was $33 and I think he bought a few um, a few lollies and uh, maybe a packet of chips and get over a $50 note and got very little change back so uh, pretty expensive hello how are you, how going? Are you? <laughs> down this end now <laughs> this is a lady from um, from Auntie's place that we saw just a moment ago. In the US, a packet costs anywhere from five to ten. Okay, so a lot of young travellers we've met who've come over from the US and from Europe are really shocked at the price of cigarettes here because it can really, if you if you're a big smoker. Uh, it can really eat through your budget very quickly. Uh, you would think it would put people off smoking. It doesn't seem to make any difference at all. Mona, you're right. The, the best use for smoking is barbecue ribs. But in the US, when I was in California, bottles of uh, liquor were super cheap. So I don't know whether that's all the way through the US, but when I was in California, um, Michelle has abandoned me to chat with that lady. <laughs> so I will head down a little further down the high street. Nice thing they always do for most of the stores, you see it, the store down the end there, there's a, a dog stood outside and there's a water container outside the shop and there's a water container outside this shop many of the retailers in the high streets in Australia put water out for the pets yeah I noticed that was another thing I noticed that the actual bottles in the US were often quite big like two litre bottles and they'd still only be sort of 20 30 dollars that two litre bottle here would be probably over a hundred come along here she comes Waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, what was the lady asking you? Oh no, we were just talking about uh, living in a small town and that sort of thing. She's saying, she said, well, not here. I said, oh, there's quite a lot here. <laughs> there is quite a lot yeah. here. You know, it's the thing when you actually live in a small town, you often think there's nothing here. But, you know, we come here and we can see almost anything you could want is in this town. Um, there could be maybe uh, another grocery store. But you do have the milk bar down here. It'd be nice to have maybe an independent green grocery produce. Yeah, it would be nice to have a nice green grocery. Maybe those farm shops that we haven't found. So, I'm glad, Leslie, I'm glad you caught us. Must be getting late, I think, in the US. Now, I said before, even though this is the main high street, there's quite a lot of residential housing along this high street. And there's a few areas like across the road here where there's been a property pulled down and they haven't yet built. So I don't think there's a massive demand. See, this is where Michelle was saying was for, for sale, these two shops. And they're three bedrooms. So it's a lawn to build. And um, I think that shop next door is closed. It it's is, just decorations. Yeah. And how much was that? Is that 500,000? So about half a million. sand truck go by I think it was about you can look back at the earlier part of the video but I think it was about it's half three, a million three in a way that's possibly a, a better deal because I think it, I, I don't know if it does include but it might include the land at the back I think it does I think that's what it was so we are getting back to the end of the high street. Do we want to go past the fire station? Can we go back that way? Yeah, we'll go past the fire station. I go I'm happy chatting a long time today. 
Dave, where were you when I was walking down the tracks? <laughs> I was I was looking for your encouragement, particularly when I saw that green uh, snake. Look, prove we walk down the track. Yeah, Dave. Look at that um, huge, great big rivet. Well, it's not a rivet. Well, no, it's not a rivet. It's a, it's like a, a sleeper nail. It's cold. What the nail? You're welcome, mate. I would I would have gone all the way down to the bridge where the kids were saying was worth a walk, but um, it's a long way. It's a long way, and it was actually getting quite hot. It's cooled down now. That's Aus that's Melbourne for you. I was going to say Australia. It's not Australia. Um, but Melbourne certainly that if you don't like the weather wait 20 minutes and it'll change not too long ago it was about 82 degrees Fahrenheit 28 degrees Celsius and now it's probably getting down to sort of low 20s the sun's gone in the wind's getting up um, never understood why people smoke and then there's a smell of headaches possible. well that is true that is true but you know it's 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 a complex story. I've never understand why people feel they want to give their hard-earned money away to um, to some of these corporates who provide tobacco. I think that's another story. Uh, you know, if you work hard, imagine how much work you have to put in here in Australia to pay for a twenty-five to thirty dollar packet of smokes so I got the black pepper and Worcester sauce Worcestershire sauce um, from Ben the butcher we've got a little bit of milk we've had some uh, Snickers cheesecake from uh, Wendy Mays we've had also a BLT at Wendy's cup of coffee good day how are you hello younger Tried that fur. Uh, we tried the fur, faux, and uh, gave her a few um, ideas. And even you, the viewers, gave Wendy some ideas. I think it was was it Kevin? I'm not sure. I'm probably possibly wrong. It could have been. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Said about putting the chili on the side, which yes, is a good, idea, a good idea, so that people could adjust the heat of their fur. Um, and we got some fudge, Raven North just remembered because he's been trying to wangle it off of me ever since I got it. <laughs> Probably forget because it's in your bag. It's in my bag. You know what will happen? In about sort of like three countries time we'll be sort of, I don't know, travelling somewhere hopefully nice and exotic. And uh, we'll go to, to pull out, I'll go looking for something in the bag and there'll be two, two beautiful big hunks of Fudge. fudge. Caramel fudge. Is that what it was? That's what she said. Fudge doesn't go off, so don't you worry about that. <laughs> I don't think it's going to last that long. Uh, I don't think. It. I don't think it'll last that long either. I think the chances of us forgetting it. <laughs> we might. In the next sort of 48 hours, yeah. when we get a little sort of munchies and feeling, oh, you know what? Do something sweet. <laughs> something sweet. I think the chances of us forgetting it are, are pretty slim. So this is pretty much it. This is Lang Lang. The other day, by the way, I want to maybe just point this out while I'm here. I was walking around another suburb in the city and I saw one of these old caravans like this one here. Um, see if I can just zoom in on it a little bit. Yeah, an old caravan. It was a, a really nice sort of classic lines on the side, but I noticed on the corners that they actually had glass, um, let me just turn around so you can see, they had glass windows that were actually curved, so they were bowed glass windows. And I said to Michelle, I said, wow, that is really unusual. I haven't seen that on many caravans, um, this sort of bowed glass window. And I thought, what a pain if that window broke. Wouldn't it be expensive to replace? Well, subsequently, <laughs> I was going to say this one. No, this one hasn't got it. But since I saw it, I must have seen a dozen caravans around Australia. It wasn't so rare. <laughs> with those bowed glass windows. So it's not as rare as I thought it was. 
Now this is the uh, CFA, the Faris, as we call them. So this is our, our fire station. It's not our, I don't live in Lang Lang. I'm just here visiting. Um, but this is what I was saying to you about, and this is the reason I decided to walk back up here, because I'm, so you look at this, it look, almost looks like a, a street lamp, but it's not. It's one of those uh, water, so that's for filling up the, the, you know, they can put that big long um, chute into the top of the fire tank, the fire engine tank, and fill it up. So it's very similar to what you used to see on the old um, railway sidings. And I imagine, I imagine they have these at most fire stations, but I've never seen one outside the fire station. Never seen one out on the out on the main road before. I thought that was quite interesting. No. Tammy saying they wouldn't work here with a the winter, they'd be frozen, wouldn't they? <laughs> we don't have that problem here. There's one of those up near my apartment that used to fill up the street washers. Bye, is that boat? Are you leaving? Bye. Yeah, it does look like a, a security camera. It isn't though, you can see. I wonder actually, here's a story. I wonder if it's metered. Here's a story, shouldn't really admit. <laughs> well, no, it's, it, I used to have a friend up in uh, Queensland who was in the fire services. So when we had to get our, our swimming pool filled, he would, um, he would, and it was just common. It was very common in in the neighbourhood where we were. Uh, the fire trucks would would come round and, and fill up your pool. Um, and I'm not sure that it was entirely the correct thing to do, but it was just a common thing to do. It's quite a few years ago. Because <laughs> you know, you imagine trying to fill up a, a, a many multiple thousands of litres swimming pool. And it sounds grand having a swimming pool, but up in Queensland, everybody's got pools. It's not that it's not that uncommon. It's very hot, you see. Um, so yeah, filling them up through the regular sort of town mains would take days. Um, so the the fire trucks would offer that service. I'm not sure that they were supposed to. And in France, we used to fill the big paddling pool up from the farm used to come round. Oh, did yes. Truck, didn't we? That's right. Were... And we had a similar thing when we had our little farm in France. Um, the farmers you have those big tanks that they use for feeding the cattle. And Tammy said they used to do that up in uh, Canada as well. Maybe it's a common thing. So, um, well, used to don't anymore I've ah, got a feeling ah. <laughs> I'm not even sure if they'd still do that up no, in Queensland oh, I suspect they do in some some areas so yeah in France the the farmers would bring the uh, if you had a, a small and like a paddling pool in in France we never used to have the big pools um, my local farm would sometimes sort of uh, swing around with a, uh, a water tank on the back and just fill it fill it up for you and I think if you knew him well you never used to pay anything, but I think if if you could ask him to do it and pay him a, a, a couple of dollars or something for the water, <clears throat> because water was metered in France, but gen we didn't. But uh, by the name of the town Langnang, I thought it was Asian, <laughs> China or Tokyo. No, Boda, it's uh, Lang Lang is an Aboriginal word for clump of trees, is what I think we said several times already, but I'll say it again. It's a clump of trees, and that's what Lang Lang starts. In Australia, towns are either named after towns in the UK, sometimes in other parts of Europe, but generally either they've got very similar names or repeat names to the UK, or they have a lot of uh, Aboriginal names. Um, and a lot of those, uh, blee blee, bly bly, uh, whoop whoop, we say, a lot of them do sound, they have the sort of repeat syllables.
Uh, originally from a large farming... Well, I used to live... We've come a long way about the dangers of, of smoking. What are you seeing, Michelle? The little doggy saying hello to me. Did a little woof through the gate. All right. <laughs> no, it's through the, oh, through the crack. Oh, yeah, look, there's a little... Just a little, just a little woof. Little dog. I don't know really if you can too. see, really. It's been very quiet, just a tiny little... I wish I could show you some of the birds here, uh, Tammy. They are... I think one of our greatest treasures. There's one up there, the colourful, the two up there, the colourful ones. Okay, I'm going to try, but I don't think I this camera's got the quality of lens, but look. They're quite hidden anyway. Can you see the, the, the coloured parrots up there? There's actually quite a few in that tree. <laughs> There's probably dozens of them in there. Can't see them. There's two there, okay. but I doubt the quality of this, this um, lens is good enough to really pick them up. So we're surrounded by brightly coloured parrots. There'll be hundreds of them. There'll be big parakeets, lorikeets, um, galahs. Yeah, I am of English descent. I'm Australian through and through, but I'm, a, I'm a also proudly uh, from, from English descent. And a little bit of Welsh also. Uh, they are, we get flocks of budgerigars coming down sometimes more towards, I've only really seen those in large numbers up in um, uh, Sydney way, sort of. Uh, yes. They do have them in many parts of Australia, but I've seen them. Uh, love to you, Leslie. Good. Look, this is a typical Australian house. You see this all the time. I'll just run it through. Is that thunder? No, it was a truck. Okay. So you've got the tin roof, which is really common in Australia. So you see most of the houses, they have tin roofs rather than tiled roofs. Occasionally some of the newer houses do, but probably 70% of the houses have corrugated tin roofs. And what is quite nice is these sort of the, these little porches that they have on the front of the house with the arched tin, so they sort of uh, roll it over. Yes, Leslie, you take care. So, um, it's one thing I know a lot of my Aussie friends miss when they move overseas. They often miss tin roofs, which is quite funny because where, when I was younger, I didn't live in Australia when I was a very young, man I, I lived overseas and the tin roof would have been considered to be the sort of thing you'd only put on a, a garden shed but I've actually come in the years living in Australia to really like the look of the tin roof another thing that quite often bugs people when they come to Australia is the lack of sidewalks so we're walking down the middle of the street and cars expect you to walk down the middle of the street but there are not enough uh, sidewalks so they have a big nature strip on the side I'm sorry Michelle just repeating what you said so they have a big grass nature strip on the side and you can walk along the nature strip or you can actually uh, just walk uh, along the roads doesn't really harm good day so does the the roof keep the Oh, Raven North says he sent a picture of the Waterfield station by me on Facebook. Thank you, mate. I will check it out when I get um, when I get stopped. No, I I know in um, many parts of the uh, United States when I've been over there, um, quite a lot of the towns are really not very walkable. At least our towns are generally footpath friendly. Um, but look how pretty this is. Now there is actually a footpath on this side of the street. So that's, uh, that's nice and I should actually take advantage of it. So I'm gonna cross over, just let this vehicle go by. It's a pretty street. Another thing we have a lot of in 
Australia. I don't know if you have the in the parts, different parts of the world where you might be. Are these sun blinds? And sun shades. They're sails, really, like you you get on boats. Um, the stretched out canopies. So you'll have them over over. Um, possibly they've got a. a uh, what are those pools called? Uh, uh, a spa. A spa, like a water spa in the corner of that garden. But if they've got a, if they've got a, <coughs> excuse me, drying up. Can I grab my water? So, um, if they've got a, a pool, they quite often put the sails over them. I'm just looking at all the branches. That was from the, probably from the storm last night. We had a storm yesterday. It was really heavy. I mean, it was. The, I don't know how fast the winds were. And it came without warning, but it was very strong. So we've been on for quite a long time. This is one of my longer, possibly even my longest. Oh no, I did do a virtually all day one for the <laughs> royal wedding. It took you a week to recover from that one. It took me a, at least a week to recover. <laughs> um, too much distracted driving where I... Yeah. Well... Sidewalks are pretty rare in a lot of suburbs in Australia. Some people may not agree with me, um, but it does depend where you are. Only been two hours. <laughs> but um, we're coming probably to the end of, uh, I think we're probably coming to the end of it now, Michelle. I think so. So I just wanted to take you, oh, I wanted to ask, uh, that a lot of people have left now, so I'll ask, but you can also answer in the comments later on if you're watching this, if you've got this far, do you like these live walks around the towns or did you prefer the compact one that I did of the same town the other day? Because um, I'd like to do what, what you prefer. I thought about this actually when I, when I asking this question I thought not always um, not always possible to do it live uh, if the internet's not good but let me just see what the comments are so Raven North loves the live chat love the live walk arounds Tammy thank you so oh the other thing you'll notice about Australian houses I don't know, what do, you, what do you notice? Has anyone noticed something about the houses here? Think about it. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you a little quiz, a little... Something I think is, is pe peculiar to, to Australia. Yeah, it may not be, it may be the same in many parts of the world, but it certainly is not the same in many parts of Europe where I've been. And it certainly isn't the same in many parts of Asia. The roofs are unique, but it's something else. I don't know if you if you want to have a little guess. <laughs> Kelly, thank you for being all the way through the video. It's beautiful. <laughs> Raven North, yeah. Oh, look at this old place here. This one's falling down. Look at this old place. This one will be. Um, I think it is abandoned. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna keep. Well, that's a good point. No fences. Yes, a lot of houses. And actually, that's another thing. I, um, very rarely do they have houses. No, oh God, you're giving me. <laughs> you're giving me other things that are quite <laughs> unique. Yes, there are no basements. Very rarely basements. Oh, yeah, I never see a basement. Um, Tammy, but it wasn't what I was looking for. No, but you've got way. some other. You've got some other things. <laughs> Think the other side, Tammy. <laughs> They're very rarely two-storey. Houses here, yeah, they re almost never have basements, and they all most of the suburbs are single-storey dwellings. So even when you've got a big house, like over the road here, this is a very big house on a big plot. It's all single-storey. Now I'm not saying you don't get, yeah, bungalows. What I would call a bungalow. <laughs> Australians don't like the name bungalow. That's a, that's a, a shed in the garden. <laughs> Take offence at the name bungalow. But yes, you're right. 
we would call them bungalows, I would call them a bungalow. But you'll notice that the, all these houses over here are single storey. It's just, it's just the way Australia developed. They had the land originally. Did you Buddha? Where did you say that? Let me go up. Let me go up. Roofs you said. Roofs. You said roofs. They've got roofs. <laughs> They've all got roofs. Got a second floor. They just haven't got a second story of, of dwelling. Now in some suburbs you'll see a lot more uh, double story properties. But Did he? I missed it then, Tammy. So, brother, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry if I missed it. Well done, you. You win. You win. You get the prize. Thumbs up. Get, hit that thumbs up. And I owe you a bit of fudge. <laughs> oh, no. Now I've said it. Oh. Now I'll be in trouble. But well, only when I see you. <laughs> Um, we've got lots and lots. Uh, do you want to look at these trees, Tammy, while you're talking about it? This is our, these are our, uh, these are the trees. They've got like a smooth bark. Actually, this is not a good example, but this one over here is a paper bark. Do you have these, any of you where you are? So it looks almost like parchment. So the bark comes off strips of paper it literally peels off all year round can you see that uh, yeah but this is yes can you see what that's like and that's uh, probably not a bad example we call them paper box <laughs> I've told you, you've got to wrestle the fudge off me. <laughs> stop reminding Michelle, if, if you stop talking about fudge, she might forget about it. And I get the fudge. And I'm sorry, I, uh, I know I've missed quite a few comments. As I said to you when we were in the cafe, um, we'll have to try and look that out. they're just not staying on the screen long enough for me. They don't stay on long enough for the me, birch, and I'm a quick reader. <laughs> the birch trees in Canada are, uh, bark is like paper, yes, but is it the paper bark here? They're literally it peels off all year round. So, so when you go um, there's further down this that way is a dark one. Further down this street, whoops, down the street, there's hundreds of paper barks. There's a lot of towns um, uh, in Australia where you get paper bark street, paper bark road because they're very common. I think they're from the eucalypt family. I think so. Have I ever climbed some of those trees? They are very difficult trees and that's part of the reason um, they have the paper bark on them. It's a protective mechanism, I think. And then also you'll see uh, a lot of the trees, this one coming up here, is like a smooth bark so quite the opposite and there's another type of eucalypt so oh look all of these paper bark paper bark and then this one here it's like a sort of milky wood like a very smooth almost looks like it's been sprayed silver And the bark on these trees also sort of peels off, but um, it's lovely and smooth. Yeah. Whoops, sorry. We're going to have to go. Phone calls are starting to come through. Right, everybody, thank you who's come in today. Um, it's been lovely chatting with you. We just wanted to show you around the small town where we're staying for the next several days and then we're, we've got some other great trips planned later in the year so love to you all thank you very much
thing. I, I won't go through, through all the names because so many of you dropped in today. Thanks for those of you that came in right early on and stayed through. Thanks for those that just caught the end. Loved you all. Be good. From Australia, from Lang Lang, small clump of trees. We'll see you next time. <laughs>